Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making Harley Quinn's main outfit from Suicide Squad. So, if you've ever watched any video on my channel before, you know that I made a Harley Quinn custom doll and I made her in a gold dress because that's all I could make at the time. And now I have enough things to make her main outfit. I actually just put these details on her face. I didn't do this much makeup in the main video, but I've done it now. And also if you wanna see the video of me making her, I'll leave a link down in the description. Also, please don't mind the desk. I've been trying to sort out a doll's face because it got completely wrecked, so I had to paint over it. It's this one. I actually painted over this. It doesn't really look like it's been painted. I'm really happy with this, to be honest. Anyway, for the outfit, I'm going to be using these tights, this top, the bottom of this swimsuit, and these really, really crappy shoes that I made. I use paper mache to make them. They look really bad, but hopefully once they've been painted, they'll actually look okay. Yeah. So, without further ado, let's start. Just so we can get it out of the way, I think I'm going to start on the shoes. So I have a reference photo right here, so I know what it looks like. And from it, I can see it has red and black details. So I'm firstly gonna go ahead and start painting on the black details on them. black I will touch it up later um, I'm gonna go over with the red now so I just finished painting them both and they look okay I guess I'm not the biggest fan of them but they're okay for my first ever time making a pair of doll shoes so I'm just gonna wait for the rest of the paint to dry and then I will go over it with some sealant and then see what they look like on the doll so this is what they look like I'm very happy with how they came out. They're not exactly the best boots ever, but they're okay for how I made them and stuff. Yeah, so now I'm gonna move on to her outfit. So I'm using these for her outfit and I'm just gonna paint the top and the bottom of this white. By the way, I actually got some new paints from the range the other day. £2.50 for five paints. This one's totally a bargain and it has a gold and a silver it's just a bargain so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and paint them white i painted the top and the bottom and now i need to paint this the right colors so that's red and blue and i also need to do the writing on the top the writing and it's a little bit lopsided but I can't really do anything about that now because I've done it yeah so now I'm gonna go on with the color so there's red and blue to go on the top here is the top I'm very happy with how this came out it looks very good I tried to add blue shading but it didn't really work and here it here are the shorts I will add glitter to these when I have some glitter, hopefully. So I'm just gonna cut the shorts off of the top because I do not need the top. Here they are. So now that I've done the top and the shorts, I need to make the belt. So I'll be using this and I'm gonna cut off the chains on the bottom and paint it black and silver. Of 
what the belt looks like and it looks really good. I really like how it came out. I just had to add this glue at the end so it actually fit around the doll's waist. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this on now and then she's mostly done. Here is what the belt looks like and here's what the whole outfit looks like. I think it looks really good. I like how it came out. I just need to put her hair into ponytails and then she's done. Exactly very even but it doesn't matter and she also has these bits of hair coming down the front so one's got blue and one's got pink here is her top i really like how this came out i'll probably remake it though it's not gonna get a little bit longer and i added a gold bracelet and i kept her rings she has with the golden outfit and she also has different earrings and a necklace this is what the belt looks like along with the shorts and her tights. I haven't um, put holes in them because I don't want to ruin the tights. She also has a few tattoos on her legs that I added on a while back. And here are her shoes. Overall, these came out really nicely so I'll probably have to use the paper mache technique another time. Here is another look at them. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, bye!